keratoconus, which is very advanced, and he had cataracts. And the right eye, we only had a choice of doing a transplant. We did a laser transplant for him, and he is seeing very well. After cataract surgery, he's seen uncorrected 20-40, and he, he's doing very well. And you can read, right? Yes, I can read. Okay, great. But the left eye is not seeing well because his keratoconus there has progressed. We did intacts, which improved the situation somewhat, but the cornea needs to be fortified because it continues to degenerate. So we're going to do cross-linking to strengthen the cornea, and we're going to do that with riboflavin and UV light. And then when the astigmatism is decreased, we can remove the cataract and put the appropriate lens so he can see with that eye as well. And then he'll be uh, functioning, seeing everything well for the rest of his life. And that's the plan. Right? Yes, thank you. How do you feel, Nicholas? Um, right now I'm a little bit nervous, but I mean excited because I'm able to see like everybody else, like a normal person, I said, because I've never had that experience. I just recently had it with my right eye, but I would like to do, have it with both eyes, and I'm just really excited. Okay. For this moment. Okay. Okay. 'Cause so just for half an hour you're gonna get a drop like this. We're starting at one forty eight. Okay, so Nicholas now has very reflected in his cornea. Which makes it look all yellow or greenish. And I'm gonna take him to the office on the other side so I can look inside. Make sure it's gotten all the way through. Okay. So, 
right now, I can see that the riboflavin got through the whole cornea. And I can see some of it is in the interior chamber, which guarantees that it will protect the eye from the UV light. And it also looks beautiful. Okay. Three, four, one, four. One of them is over 100 we can go? Yes. Okay, let's set up the lead and light. Nicholas, how do you feel? I feel good, relaxed. It's not no pain at all. Relaxed. It's been really well. I thought it was gonna be like I was nervous, but no, it's really relaxing. Did you feel any pain at all? No pain at all. How do you feel, Nicholas? I feel good. Is the light bothering you at all? Uh, it's, uh, is it on? Yes, it's on. Nothing at all. Good. Really damn, really comfortable. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put a contact lens on. So that you don't feel anything once we're done. Yeah, I think there's less pain because UV light somehow pain people feel. Most people say nothing bothered them at all. No, you don't feel nothing at all. Just like. Like so do not to worry. All you have to do is just relax and everything will be fine. Okay, so now when we remove the speculum, look up. Now close, look, close your eyes like you're asleep. Here is going to be a little bit yellowish. Don't worry about that. That's just the riboflavin, the vitamin coming out. So the intacts that you have help the cornea because if there is no intacts, the corneal fibers can connect only to the periphery of the sclera, of the white part of the eye. So that's a big distance for them to build and make stronger. If you have the intacts, now the intacts become the ultra structure that supports the cornea, and then these. Central fibers need to be much shorter, so it's less of a job for the cells of your cornea to do to restore okay. the, the collagen. So that should make it stronger because it helps by itself, but it also helps after the cross-linking okay. for helping these cells rebuild new collagen. So it takes six months to see really see good results. Okay. Sometimes you see it within a month. Cool. So, and I will do the cataract. Yes, that's, that's what I'm waiting for. So Nicholas had uh, his cross-linking yesterday. This is the first day after. He is uh, corneal epithelium is healing. He has a contact lens, so he feels no pain at all. And he's healing normally. The procedure went great. The cornea is clear. Now we hope with cross-linking completed, it's becoming much stronger and the astigmatism is reduced and the vision is better. Yes, it's, it's pretty much better. No pain at all. It feels good. And when is he coming back for his next visit? So we're going to take the contact lens out next week when the epithelium heals completely and then we'll follow according to protocol and, and measure the corneal thickness, its shape, and the astigmatism remaining.